everybody, it's Mischievous Mel live from Rockwell on Scene Music Magazine Tattoo.com and I am sitting next to the one and only White Chapel. Woo! Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> and we are at the sold out. Sold out aftershock. I almost said louder than life because I've been on the road and I have no fucking idea where I'm at. <laughs> but I do know that it's here. Hey, same. Yeah, right? Been on the road, no idea where you're at. Same. <laughs> yep. And that's why I always feel guilty when I say, hey guys, where are you next? And they look at me like, bitch, I just get on the bus and I get out and I play. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So now that we talked a little bit about that, I first want to get your names and say what you do in the band for the people that don't know who you are. So we'll start with you, sir. I'm Phil and I do vocals. I'm Alex and I do guitar. I'm mischievous Mel and I fangirl. You guys, oh my God, I mean the energy the the crowd you know i mean you guys are on the way over stage it was packed all the way over like i couldn't get through to get back and there's like no place for us to get through without like being mobbed yeah. you guys had one hell of a pit going like even even like i'm like i'm talking like a half a mile back like yeah. it was fucking insane so how does that feel to get on stage and be like that yeah i mean it's uh you know it's california for you i mean that's how it always is over here for us I know like any any band that I ever see here too is just like the crowd is always just way into it yeah it's dope you know the weather the atmosphere the vibe like everybody's here to have a good time so it was a lot of fun see I think you guys are being like extra like shy about it because I saw you like on Warp Tour and on the road it's not just in California where you rip the skin off people's bones when you play it's everywhere yeah. it's amazing we try, you know? yeah we try I mean it's uh I don't know. I mean, I think California has just got like just such a, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm not going to say it's like the best or better than anywhere else, but it's just like, there's like a certain atmosphere here whenever we play like, uh, like Southern California, Northern California, just everywhere, just California in general. Well, you guys have been on the road. Like I said, I've seen you a few spots. So what's next for Whitechapel after you guys get through this aftershock event? Uh, well, we're wrapping up a co-headliner that we just finished with Suicide Silence. Today was actually the last day where we like played together. And uh, we have three shows on the way home, and then we have five days off, and then we head to Europe to headline the Never Say Die Tour. So that'll be a lot of fun, too, because we're uh, doing it with Die Art is Murder and Carnifex and a couple of our other friends. So. I love all those bands, especially Die Art is Murder, secret, secret super fan of those. So, so no rest for you then? Not really. Yeah, there's no rest in music, is there? No rest for the wicked, right? <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm really excited about the music. Is there anything that you guys want to say about where fans can find your music that don't know? I mean, obviously, I know because obviously I'm a fan. But for those that might be new to Whitechapel, and if you are, you obviously live under a rock or don't listen to good music. But if, for those people, where would they find you? I mean, you can go to our, uh, I mean, I'd say YouTube. I mean, you can yeah. see everything Spotify, there. Yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Most of the typical streaming medias, you can find us there. Just search Whitechapel. Well, not only are you guys, like, awesome with music, but you guys have a lot of ink, and nothing goes better with music like ink. It's like peanut butter and chocolate. So I'm going to start with you. If you want to tell me a little bit about your ink, and if you have a um, favorite artist, that'd be cool to mention as well. Um, well, I got all this done from a guy in Florida. Uh, I haven't seen him in forever now, but this is the first tattoo I got. It's like a zombie hand holding a microphone, so it's like sing signifies death metal, like a death metal singer. And then I just turned it into like a whole like you know theme and everything. It's just like a zombie Frank Sinatra right here, and like uh, you know zombie silhouettes. You know that can pretty much be Leatherface and like this like I don't know demon skull looking thing, and then. This thing up here, it's like a zombie lady, and uh, that's pretty much it for that. And then I have our symbol right here, our saw blade symbol. And then on the other side, I have our state with uh, our landmark, which is the, uh, the sun sphere with uh, the uh, area code etched into the side of it. So, any hidden ones? Uh, oh, well, yeah, I have a Star Wars tattoo right here. Oh, that's awesome. Like it says dark side. But but I kinda have to I mean Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's pretty much all I have. He's got way more than I Any do. Any plans for extra ones? Uh yeah, I mean I'd say eventually I'm just way too lazy to even try to get it done anymore. Yeah. Well, I can't imagine why you're exhausted. Like I said, I just saw your side I got tired watching. Yeah. I mean I was just watching. I can't even wow. And you, like he said, you are you are a tablet. Yeah. 
guess I have a little more. Um, I guess I'll start with this arm. This is uh, done by a lady friend back home named Autumn. She works at Integrity Tattoo in Maryville, Tennessee. And uh, it's just a music theme sleeve. Obviously, I'm a musician, so it's one of the biggest loves of my life. And uh, I have the roses from the Deftones self-titled album cover because it's one of my favorite records. And, uh, and then this arm is a Tennessee theme sleeve just because we're from Tennessee and we're very proud of that, you know. And this is done by our friend Sean Cummings from uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, it just has everything in dealing with Tennessee. Uh, a raccoon, which is the state mammal. Um, this is a flower from the tulip poplar, which is the state tree. A, uh, a black bear, a mockingbird, which is the state bird. And uh, a bass, just because I love to fish. <laughs> that's actually a cover-up. Yeah, and that's uh, part of a cover-up. but. That's badass for cover-up. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's nice and solid. Um, and then I have this guy down here. It's nice and bright. Yeah, it's uh, Jace Masula, which he used to be located in Atlanta. Not too sure where he's at now. But um, And then I have this dude, the same as Phil, which was done by Sean Cummings, the guy who worked on my sleeve. So, yeah. That's very pretty. Any hidden ones? Um, sort of. I got this dude right here. So it says to live, not exist. Well, that's cool. So, kind of a reminder of, uh, you know, don't just live life, or don't just exist in life, live it, you know? Don't just be both, melt the breather and take up space, like exactly. like those damn media people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you guys, like I said, I I, I was so proud. I, I actually fought my partner to shoot you guys today, like I said, I've seen you before, but you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Now, one thing that I want to mention that I forgot to is you guys kind of started I don't want to say like in the warp tour scene, but but like that more hardcore under scene underground. How does it feel to kind of mainstream into like this? I mean, this festival's got a little bit of everything and stuff. Um, what what was that like for you guys? I mean, I think it just you know exp expands the horizon. You know, I mean, it doesn't you know limit us to anything. You know, like because some of those kids that grew up in that scene and are still a part of it still enjoy us. So I mean, it's. Uh, you know, and it's not about just, you know, going mainstream or whatever. It's just, it's about reaching as many people as you can and, you know, seeing who else can, you know, enjoy what you do. Yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we're just writing the music that we love and we want to play. And if people want to join us and enjoy that with us, then that's ideal. You know, that's what we want. That's what we love about our fans. So, um, you know, I think it's amazing that we can go from playing like super heavy tours to playing something a little more mainstream like this. You know, I think that's what has helped us kind of succeed through our career is that we can flip flop through demographics like that. So. Well, you guys have quite a reach. I mean, I'm, I'm older and a lot of my friends are older, but I have a 16 year old, which is great because I get to go on the Warp Tour with the Mommy and Me Path. Yeah. Thank you, Warp Tour, for letting old people in for free. But I mean, it's amazing, yeah. you know? So, like, like getting you guys out here for you know I'm not gonna say old people like me but older people like yeah. me is great so I just want to say thank you for crossing over and you guys have been great I know I took up a lot of your time and I'm pretty sure you're freaking tired hey this is Alex from Whitechapel this is Phil from Whitechapel and you're watching tattoo.com